when we start this, we usually start in the right atrium. Um, I don't know why we choose that. We just seem to think of that as a good starting point. Right. But I want you to understand this is really two circles. So we could start at any point in time or any spot in the body or heart, and you should be able to trace this. So we're starting the uh, blood coming into the right atrium. It passes through the tricuspid valve. And um, there's a tricuspid valve and a bicuspid valve. And if you want to try to remember this, we usually say try before you buy. That's how you know which one comes first. Um, and the reason um, it's a tricuspid valve, uh, this only shows two, but there's one valve there, one valve there, and there's actually a third one that should come in there. So there's three flaps on that valve. That's why it's called the tricuspid valve. Uh, from there, it goes into the left ventricle. It then passes through the pulmonary valve and goes up to the pulmonary circulation. And it splits the left and right and goes to a lung on each side. After um, going through the lung, and we call that pulmonary circulation. So it can go um, artery, arterial, capillary, venule, and vein. So if you want to get really detailed, it goes from the pulmonary artery to a pulmonary arterial to a pulmonary capillary. All those capillaries then combine together to become a pulmonary venule, then a pulmonary vein, and then it comes back as the pulmonary vein, but it's oxygenated now, so it's coming back in to the pulmonary vein. Um, vein is the term that we use for blood that is returning to the heart. Artery is blood that is leaving the heart. And really pulmonary circulation is flip-flop of our systemic circulation, our body. And most of the time we just think body stuff. So normally if we say an artery, we do think bright red spurting blood oxygenated because we normally deal with systemic arteries. This here is your mitral valve or bicuspid valve, and it passes through that valve to the left ventricle. Then when the left ventricle squeezes, it goes through another valve, and this valve is the um, aortic valve. And then it should come up through the aorta, goes up to the head, it comes all the way around behind the body, or behind the heart, and goes down to the body. And then you also have a little branch of that that comes off for your coronary arteries that then supply the heart. Just like on the pulmonary side, it then goes to from aorta to arteries to arterial to capillaries. Capillaries then begin to come up, combine together and form venules. Venules form veins. Veins form the um, inferior and superior vena cava, which then bring the blood back down to the right atrium. And that's uh, tracing a drop of blood to the heart. So, if we start with the right ventricle, what does it go through next? Tricuspid. Okay, tricuspid. After that, I messed up. I wrote, I, yep, I just realized that. I was trying to think of those. I don't think that's right. Right, atrium. It should be now right ventricle. Maybe if I just spell it out, it'll make more sense to me. From the right ventricle, it goes through the pulmonary valve. Pulmonary artery. And then that's when it disperses through the body. Right. <laughs> the lungs. Yeah, now this would be the lungs. Okay, lungs. And then the pulmonary artery. Yep. Then after it goes through the lungs, the blood... Um, I'm just gonna put pulmonary artery. Yeah, let's just back it up. All the way. Pulmonary valve really should be pulmonary artery next. And then go to lungs. And then pulmonary vein. At this time, it's back to the um, coming back to the uh, um, heart. So where does it come in? This side, it's a pulmonary vein. It goes to the yep so left atrium. On the pul uh, 
there are valves on the venous side. We don't normally name them. Uh -huh. um, and there really isn't one here. I don't really know why. I'll add it to my list to ask when I get to the other side. Why didn't you put a valve on that spot? He obviously wasn't charging by the hour because my plumber put the valve everywhere. <laughs> uh, so left atrium, it then does go through a valve and that is your bicuspid. bicuspid. It's then into your left ventricle. Aortic valve. Then your aorta. And then we use a fancy word, systemic, and it just means body. And then it returns through the vena cava. And we have two vena cavas. We have the superior, which gets the head, arms, and then we have the inferior, which gets the rest of the body. So one from the top and one from the bottom. Superior and inferior vena cava. So you wouldn't put ordinary arteries in there? If you're given the option, uh -huh. um, remember we always go artery. To um, arterial. The capillary, the venule, the vein. Am I spelling vein right? Yes. Okay. I was thinking I before E except after C. Mm -hmm. Or it sounds like A. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at that and it just didn't look right to me, but B I E N didn't look right either. And, and these are just different diameters, really, um, as we branch from the big ones to the little ones to the itty bitty teeny tiny capillaries, and then we branch back together. They just get bigger then. So the pulmonary artery goes to the lung? Yes. So if anything that starts with the pulmonary, Um, and it could be, you know, artery, could be a vein, you know, whatever it is. But that means it's referencing the lungs. And then when we see systemic, that means the body. So those are the two circulations, pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation.